So one question might be, um, what are some of the key challenges facing uh, business schools in general and uh, the Simon School in particular? Let's maybe start with the Simon School. Uh, some of them are somewhat obvious. Um, uh, the Rochester business community has been dealt a bit of a blow uh, by the departure of some of the larger companies in the area, some of the more famous companies. And uh, how do we meet that challenge? Well, first of all, I think some really good news is that there's some entrepreneurship that's really beginning to grow out of the embers, if you will, of some of those organizations. And some of those companies are beginning to uh, bring on more and more people which is just fantastic. Um, another thing that we have to do though to be more proactive is start forging connections with some of the larger business communities near us. By far the most obvious one is New York City. We have a sort of fledgling operation in New York City that I really think we're gonna have to get serious about growing over the next five or 10 years. We have a couple of master's programs there, but I think that's an interesting start. We could be doing a lot more than that. So that I think is uh, our challenge at the Simon School. Let's talk a little bit about the sort of broader challenges of business schools in general. Um, if you look at any numbers on, uh, probably the most critical number is the number of people that have been writing the GMAT exam over the last 15 or 20 years, it's shrunk phenomenally, particularly in the United States. American applicants um, to that particular exam have dropped by about 50% over a 20 year period. So um, that really leads one to ask some deep seated questions about what the value is that MBAs are offering. It also makes one wonder uh, just how long the MBA is gonna be around. Might the entire environment change? And people get nervous about that. My personal belief is that the core underlying MBA continues to offer a very valuable set of tools for people doing the program, offer a very, very solid connection to industry. Industry loves the two-year structure on an MBA program, so uh, one of the directions many people have been moving is to try to offer value by offering a one-year program other than a, rather than a two-year program. And we do do that for people that are interested. But American companies still love the idea of being able to, if you will, taste test people at the end of their first year before they bring them on for a full-time position at the end of their second year. So I think this full-time MBA program is going to be here for the long term, but we have to get better about giving value and we have to realize that uh, probably not in the top 100 programs, probably lower down than that, but there's gonna be some shrinking of MBA programs and prepare ourselves as an industry for that environment.